here's our columns and beams that we had in digital project. Um, now all the geometry is, is uh, incorporated with the center lines are incorporated into um, Rhino uh, with accurate geometry. But we're going to see later on when we deal with IFC that, um, that IFC not only provides that accurate geometry, but it also provides a lot of rich information um, which we can use for, for uh, construction coordination. So I'm going to close that out. And um, I just want to show that if, um, if you go, just like the Save As, if you go to Open and you expand the file types, you can see the list of file types here uh, that are available to Open. So there's uh, quite a few there for you to check out. And for Save As, um, that list will change depending on the type of file you have open. So there was a list um, available for a part file. Um, if I'm looking at uh, a drawing file here, for instance, and look at the Save As, uh, I have a different list. So I have DXF, DWG, uh, CGM is a vector uh, file format, <clears throat> PDF. So there's, uh, there's a lot of 2D um, vector-based uh, file formats for you to choose from when saving a drawing file. All right, so let me close that out. Um, now, the next thing I want wanna to look at before we get into ISC is um, if you want to bring in 3D uh, DXF or DWG information. So let's say you're, you're working with someone who's modeling in 3D and AutoCAD. Um, the way to go about doing that is uh, first create a product. So we're going to go up to File, New, and go to Product. And um, that's okay, I don't need to name that right now. I'm just demonstrating how you can bring in that, that 3D file. Uh, I'm going to go up to Data. And under Data, when you have a product open, uh, there's 3D DXF DWG Translator. So this allows you to import and export um, 3D uh, DXF or DWG files. So if I go to, uh, to import here and I look at one of the files I saved before, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open up again uh, the envelope whole file, um, but let's let's assume that instead of someone modeling it in Rhino, they they modeled the surface in in AutoCAD or or something else that that gives us a DWG or DXF. So hit open. And this dialog is going to ask you, um, if you if you have a very large file, um, you may want to click this option to save and unload parts. So as it loads it in, it's going to save those parts and then put them in visualization mode. So this way, if you have a very large file, it, it allows you to, um, to progressively import, save, and then put those files in visualization mode. Um, the file we're dealing with here is not that large, so I don't need to, to click that option. Just click OK, and then it should give me a progress bar. OK, and then if we zoom out here, we see we have our, our 3D surface. Um, just like uh, just like before, in this case, brought in from a 3D DWG or DXF. Okay, so um, so let's go on. The um, what I what I want to get into now is look at the project manager model that we've been working with in the past. And um, 
and show how you can save that out uh, as an IFC model. So I'm going to open up my project manager uh, model and my MAR cat product. I'm going to drag that into digital project and open that up. So um, now we have it loaded up. And as you may recall from before, uh, the, the model when it loads up is in visualization mode. Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a geometric representation of all the information. If you want to edit things, you have to load them into design mode. And, and in this case, if you want to export uh, various elements from to IFC, you need to have them in, in design mode. So in this case, I'm going to expand the tree. And I'm going to drill down to um, from MAR, MAR site, and our building, and level uh, zone one, level two. So I have all my level two elements: uh, columns, beams, partitions. I'm going to select that uh, that product, and I'm going to load it into design mode. So you see my, my icon. If you don't have these tool sets, um, here I'll close that. If you don't have these tool sets, I, all you have to do is right click and go to representation um, from the list of, of tool sets here and uh, just bring it over to, to your toolbar to lock it in. So I've selected that level two product and I'm going to hit hit the design mode button and load that all into design mode. And then we're going to get an IFC model from this information and take a look at that and see what that gives us. Now to uh, familiarize everyone um, with the IFC format, um, I would suggest uh, taking a look at, um, there's a Wikipedia page on IFC. Uh, the uh, IFC stands for the Industry Foundation Classes. Um, if you look at the Wikipedia page for IFC, you'll see that there's a, there's a, a list here of software vendors supporting IFC. Here's Gary Technologies Digital Project. Um, we have a lot of other, uh, Archicad, Tecla, uh, Vectorworks, Bentley Systems, Revit, of course. So there's, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of BIM softwares here that all support the IFC format. Um, and um, so this is, a, this is just a good reference to see what, um, what software, uh, what BIM platforms provide that uh, this format for importing and exporting. Okay, so now back to our model. We have the uh, we have that level loaded in design mode. I'm going to go up to um, data and IFC translator and IFC export and click that. So uh, it's going to it's going to, since I have the MAR product active, I want that, that top uh, MAR product active. Uh, I'm, it's going to save it out as MAR.IFC. So I just click Save. It's going to take those elements that are, that are currently loaded in design mode, and it's going to run through and export them into IFC. So it's just running through all the entities. It says it's got 548. And as soon as that's done, um, you'll see that there's, uh, so if I close that out, it's done. Just a, just uh, minimizing the window here. So here's our, here's our MAR IFC file. If I double click that, 
Um, I have a 